So here we are in machine version two, and I'm pretty excited about this because it's a big update and Native Instruments have really gone to town on not only the interface, but they've recoded the whole thing from ground up. And you can see, we're gonna see a lot of new features that people have really been waiting for. So if you're a machine user, this is exciting stuff. Not only have we got the new software here, um, and you know, you're gonna see all these exciting new updates covered, but also um, you're looking at the new uh, Machine Studio hardware. And you may be looking at this as an owner of say the Mark II or the Mark I or one of the other iterations of the, the hardware and be worried that it's, you know, whether it's gonna work with the new version two software. The good news is the version two software works with any machine hardware. So it's gonna work obviously out of the box with the studio. Um, and the studio really covers all the new features and you know, you've got the great displays um, and we'll be getting into that um, as we move along through the course. But if you have say uh, a Mark I, and bear with me here <laughs> because it's quite a list. So if you've got a Mark I hardware, you've got the uh, Micro Mark I or the Micro uh, Mark II, or you've got the Mark II machine, or you've got the machine studio, um, any of these are gonna work with the version two uh, software. So you really don't need to worry about what hardware you've got. Obviously, the, the studio covers more of uh, the, the features and gives you more ac a quicker access to some of the shortcuts and the displays give you a better visual representation of what's going on. But that aside, uh, the Mark II, and I've used the Mark II with this software, works just fine. So I'm assuming it's just as pain-free and uh, enjoyable with all the other pieces of hardware. Um, the, the downside to this is if you are uh, a Mark a version one user of the software, and this all gets a little complex, but if you're a version one user of the software, you are gonna need to pay for an update to the version two. So it's 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 pretty minimal. I think it's 90 euros or something like this. Um, so it's not too expensive. And honestly, for the new features they've put in, and we're gonna be looking at, at the new features in the next video, it's really well worth it. It really is. I mean, there's, there's so much going on here. Um, it's well worth uh, paying the extra money and getting up to the version two. If you buy a studio, um, it's gonna ship with the version two. So buying the new hardware or buying any of the new hardware, I'm assuming from this point on, um, is gonna get you that version two in the box. So there you have it. There's the structure of the new product. Uh, there's what to expect when you uh, dig in and get the new hardware or the new software. Uh, next up, we're gonna take a really fast overview of what's new in the software and what you can expect to be covered across the, uh, the, the course and what we're gonna be looking at. So let's get stuck into that and, uh, and take a look. 